CAT 2021 slot 1 quantitative aptitude question number 9. Anil invests some money at a fixed rate of interest compounded annually. If the interests accrued during the second and third year are 806.25 and 866.72 respectively, the interest accrued in INR during the fourth year is nearest to. So this is a basic question which tests your understanding of the principle on which the compound interest works. So you need to know that in compound interest for any year, let's say year 2, the interest earned in year 2 must be equal to interest earned in year 1 plus simple interest at the same rate of interest on I1. If I look at year 3, interest earned in year 3 must be equal to interest earned plus on in the year 2 plus SI on interest earned in year 2. And in general, interest earned in the nth year will be equal to interest earned in n minus 1th year plus simple interest on interest earned in n minus 1th year where i is the interest earned. So this is the simple logic on which this question works. This question is simple except that it involves certain calculation which you have to do and I, I would have done this question on a calculator. I would not have bothered because even the options are quite close and they are all in decimals up to second two points. So if the interest accrued during the second and third year are 806.25 and 866.72, so you are given I2 and I3. I2 is 806.25 and interest earned in the third year is 866.72. This is given to you. So we know I3 is equal to I2 plus simple interest that is x percent of I2 if x is the rate of interest. So what do you have? 866.72 must be equal to 806.25 plus x percent of 806.25. This is something which you should understand. So if you subtract, what do you get? Uh, 25 plus 20 to 47 and 60.47 is equal to x by 100 into 806.25, which means x is 6047 upon 806.25. This is your rate of interest. Now you are required to calculate the rate of interest for the fourth year. So I4 will be equal to I3 which is 866.72 plus X percent. So 6047 upon 806.25 into 100. So 6047 upon 806.25 into 100. See, x percent is x by 100. So, x is 6047 upon 806.25 divided by 100. So, this much of 866.72. And if you calculate this, I have already done this on calculator. I remember it will come out to 931.72, which should be your answer.